Hello everybody, welcome back to Deep Rock Galactic, where we're going to go on this week's Elite Deep Dive, and for this I'm going to be taking a randomized gunner, and we'll see how this goes. This is to the Azure Weld, which is probably my favorite biome in Deep Rock. I really enjoy the Azure Weld, I think it looks really cool. I don't know what we have for this week's dive though, let's find out and let's see what kind of weapons we get too. I'm kind of curious. Looks like we got mining and I think that's a dreadnought. I don't know what the negative is though. Let's see. Okay, we got auto cannon. I think this is Big Bertha. <laughs> oh, rival presence. And then I got the bulldog. Not sure what I got on the bulldog though. I think it could kind of be anything. I got heavy hitting auto cannon though. Alright, let's get some nitro. Oh, I've got second wind. I've got veteran depositor. Uh, I don't have deep pockets. Alright, I was like, we could get... I don't have strong arm either. Hmm, wonder what my last passive is. Maybe it's born ready. Could be vampire. Could be sweet tooth. Could be friendly. It's gonna be something like friendly or elemental insulation or something like that. <laughs> you can't really guess, at least in a biome like this. And friendly, you just can't guess if you're playing solo, so. Alright, through the wall. Come along, Bosco. Let's be on our way. Yeah, definitely Big Bertha. I think I have damage in tier 1. Because I don't have a larger mag size and I don't have more ammo. So maybe they gave me like all damage to Bertha. I have armor breaking on it though, I think. Let's see. Okay, no magic bullets. I kind of figured that with the amount of ammo we have. Alright. Do. Which grenade do I have? Lead bursters, okay. That's fine. No, I'm against you now. Okay, you now and no vampire. <laughs> Beast master. I didn't get very much ammo. Still got two more turrets, three more turrets, four more turrets. All right, a couple more turrets. I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have long lasting shields either. <laughs> Take them out, Bosco. Yes, something like that. I think that's for the best. Oh, I just noticed the Dreadnought Egg is in here. <laughs> or Cocoon. Well, I'm glad I didn't hit it by accident, I guess. I don't know what I've got on my revolver. Maybe it's just like homebrew powder or something. It's not magic bullets. It doesn't seem to be. I probably won't notice if it's like volatile bullets. Because I can't light anything on fire to test. <laughs> Well, we might just break that one turret over there, yeah. but I guess it's better than wasting our ammo on it. Oops. Ready. Ah. Cool as a cucumber. Okay. Oh, okay, we got two. <laughs> That's one more than I thought we would. I still probably want a resupply, though. No. Oh. We're gonna swarm inbound. I don't have enough nitro to get a resupply. <laughs> oh. And we got to do the same time with the control bots. Let's see. It seems like I'm doing the same amount of damage per shot, so I don't think this is homebrew powder either. So I'm assuming this is volatile bullets then. 
which I can't trigger. Uh, yeah, I think so, because it can't be elephant rounds, it can't be six shooter. I haven't noticed chain hit going off, so I don't think it can be that either. I think it's just volatile bullets that I got, which is rather unfortunate with the build we got set up with. I think we got volatile bullets with one ammo and one damage mod, so we basically got the standard revolver that could do extra damage if we could light something on fire. But we don't get to light things on fire. Oh, I am out of ammo. Alright. Wait, weapon ready? I do have one ready then. Okay. Well, that's good. And we found out all of our passive perks then. Second wind. Uh, veteran depositor. And... We're ready then. Okay. Ooh, I can get a steam. I do have the fear on this too, which is not amazing with Big Bertha. Steve, Steve, Come back here, Steve. Yes. Okay, I'm dangerously low on bullets. Huh. Alright, kind of a wonky setup for everything. Then. Let's check then, see if I was right about the loadout. I've got an egg on my head. Uh, it is volatile bullets. Oh, I have two damage mods on it. So it's slightly stronger than base revolver. Uh, yeah, those are all of our things. We do have fear on this. We have full damage on Big Bertha. Okay, interesting setup. Not really one of the best. I mean, Big Bertha's probably going to carry us. And base revolver is good enough on basically any difficulty. So this isn't a terrible loadout. It's just it's a very wonky one. Like, we're gonna run out of ammo kind of quick, and we don't have overclocks that are necessarily complementing each other. Like, if we had Burning Hell and then Volatile Bullets, or I guess anything on the Hurricane and fire on it. <laughs> or even just a fire grenade. Right, either way, I gotta find some more Nitra. And then we can be on our way. We can actually fight the Dreadnought. Oh, let's go. There we go. Scared him away. Sorry, little guy. I need your stuff, though. Steve, murder them. Yeah, take him out, Bosco. I don't even... I have one shield. Okay. I got one shield and a pickaxe. Oh, I do have the pickaxe fear, though. I forgot about that. Oh, there we go. We got just enough nitra. Take him out, Steven Busco. I don't have a great way of fighting at the moment. <laughs> I'm just gonna run away. Steve, don't get hit by that. Alright. Alright. Yeah, as soon as I get bullets. <laughs> Take out the breeder. Take out those two. But mainly the breeder. Thirsty, no need to shoot you, buddy. Alright, there's more nitro in here, too. Sudden spreader as well. <laughs> Oh, 
No, we lost Steve. Poor Steve. Then there's the yeah, it's people are right behind you. So okay. Okay. All right. Let's get the dreadnought started. The twins. All right. That's actually good for us. Because my build is not super mobile at the moment, <laughs> but it does hit fairly hard. So if I can just keep shooting it stuff in the face, that's better. Oh, over there. I thought I could hear him. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just keep fighting in here. I don't know. My resupply pod's all the way down there. I had to walk so far back to get here. I didn't really have a great option, though, because if I had started these guys early, maybe that first one wouldn't have shown up now. Again, aren't they? No? Oh, yes? Okay. Uh, I guess let's go back to the resupply pod. Maybe. Unless, unless I get cut off from there, I guess. Ah! No. Okay, get bullied a little bit by the twins. That's okay, though. Oh. No. Until the bots start showing up. Boss, go! Murder them! I'm gonna run away. So I gotta get back to the resupply pod. There we go. Oh, well, that actually is doing a lot of damage to him. And me. Of course, I managed to shoot myself with that. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Hang on, resupply bot, I'm a coming. Now yeah, they're gonna heal up again. <laughs> Keep damaging the lacerator too much. Not spreading the damage. Oh well. Oh yeah, I got some HP. Hooray! There we go. to climb on top of the fireball? I've never seen that before. That was that was weird. You carry a load well. Okay. Now yeah, let's get going. Now they're spawning more stuff. I guess that makes sense. It's usually when they go after the, the dread fight. It's probably like way up there, isn't it? It's kind of like that. All right, Molly, let's go. I'm gonna try not to use up too much of my ammo because uh, we're kind of limited on that. Oh, it is spanking through it. Okay, it's not so bad then. All right. Hopefully, Bosco can clear him up a little bit. And then, I guess we'll see what the next mission is. Honestly, Dreadnought missions for this build are not too bad. I don't know what mission would be really bad for this build. Like, we're playing Gunner, so Escort and Salvage are usually pretty safe. Point Extract, maybe? Because we're playing Gunner and we don't move very fast? That one might be the worst, or uh, Pipelines. Pipelines are probably the worst if given like a cave like this. 
where we just have an awkward setup. Hey, I got some more nitro too. All right. Oh, more nitro right here. Cool. What is this? Okay. <laughs> I'm not wasting bullets on you guys. It's not happening. I want to save my bullets. Bosco can use up his bullets, but he's got infinite bullets. Go Freeze him, Bosco. Freeze him again. Big <laughs> 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 spreader. Okay. Away we go! Uh oh. <laughs> that might cause a problem in a little bit. Let's see what we got going on in stage two. Stage one was just kind of a lot of backtracking for me, which is not Gunner's strong suit. That's more of like a scout thing. Let's see, blank matrix score is our reward. Completed the first stage, and on to the second, which is a point extraction of a black box and Mactera plague. My build should be okay at killing Macteras. I can one-shot regular Macteras with the revolver. I think I can one-shot Trijaws with it, with the way it's set up. If not, I'm very close to one-shotting them if I hit them in the belly. And Big Bertha should kill them pretty quick. I also have the Lead Bursters, which helps. As long as I don't get grabbed, like during the Black Box thing, we should be fine. Let's go, you wanna grab that one? Oh yeah, I got fear on this too, which is actually okay on the auto cannon for these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I shot myself. <laughs> uh, I thought that might happen. I didn't realize it until I actually checked that out. It's like, wait a minute, I'm very low on HP. This might not end well for me. It'll end better this time. Didn't I hit you twice? I think I would have killed that. Alright, well, one down so far into friendly fire of all things. <laughs> Let's go, you wanna grab that one too? Reload my auto cannon. Probably gonna call in a resupply up here too, because I'll need one for this mission. I shouldn't need any more than that. Oh yeah, I have veteran depositor as well. That would explain why it's so dang fast. We do only need seven, so that's not bad. Let's build this part way up. Grab the resupply. Bosco's bringing us our quarry. Stay by my side, Bosco. Just toss them over there, Bosco. Thank you. I was thinking there'd be like Macterra that show up, but I guess we're okay. And actually, we can just let that reload while we do this. Wait a minute, I didn't grab my resupply? <laughs> I guess I didn't. I must have cancelled it the last second. Okay. Damn flares could need an upgrade. Yes, build this up. Black box ready okay. We'll lose the connection if you don't stay close by it. So try not to leave the triangulation. Zone. This is actually a pretty good spot given that we have my terror plague. Because they kinda have to come to two eyes. Steve never mind. Steve! <laughs> we'll have to find different Steve. Another Steve. Get rid of that. I'm just getting hit by a train, John. We did. Alright. Take you out. I think I might have just shot Bosco. <laughs> Go. 
Bizarre. Go away, <laughs> leave us alone. Okay. Wait, the swarm is here? Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, I can't quite one shot a try job. I think if I let the poison tick down, I would. But dang. Probably just like slightly off. If I had the base 10 damage on the revolver, that probably would one shot the trade job. Yeah. You want to grab that one? I need more bullets. <laughs> I ran through all of our bullets there. I guess that makes sense with the defending area plus the swarm. Busky, you want to toss that to me? Thank you. Alright. You want to go grab that one? Actually, look down. Oh no. Buscar already dug that one out, but it didn't actually become unearthed. So no players ready. Let me get over here then. Weapon ready. Toss that. Bosco, you can just drop that one, Bosco. Go, you think so? Oh no, that's that's not something. <laughs> Bosco's just scouting it out for us. Gotta get two more after this. If I can find two more up here, that'd be great. We can toss them down. Probably want to grab some nitro before we go. I've seen a couple of it. And just use up the rest of that resupply. Hopefully we can get this done before the second swarm shows up. Oh, that's the second swarm. Alright, Bosco, grab this. You gotta go. Especially when we got back there right here. We killed all the regular ones. Thank you, Bosco. No, it's just me here. There we go. Thanks, Bosco. Resupply. Oh yeah, we do have protection depositor if we stand here, which could actually help us. Take him out, turrets and Bosco. Steve. 
there's another 40. That's good. That's enough for a resupply. And we can grab the last two parts of the resupply. Actually, hang on. <laughs> I'm wondering if Let's do this in the right order. Because if I launch it, then we're not going to be able to deposit shortly afterward. Grab this. And that should be enough for maybe even a second resupply. Well, yeah, probably not, but it'll get us closer to a second resupply. Dang! <laughs> uh oh. No, oh, no, I got slowed. Man, I'm not hitting the belly. Oh no, Steve! I didn't mean to toss that right on you, buddy. Alright. No. Alright, well. Ah. Hopefully, I don't shoot myself off of there. <laughs> Alright. Last three bullets. Take them out, boys. Go. All right, there we go. Pod gonna land. I bet it's gonna land somewhere over here. I based that on absolute nothing. I'm also going the wrong direction. Alright. On to the next stage, the final stage. This stage wasn't bad at all. You will want to probably do the black box quickly though, because the longer it takes, the more likely you are to get a swarm like I did. Luckily, I got it at the very end. Black box, not at the very start. Right. Run away, run away. Grab some health and run away. Let's go, Bosco. To the last stage. With our heavy damage primary and uh, kind of average secondary. <laughs> it's still the revolver, though, so. It's quite good regardless, but let's see, what else do we got? Swarm again, liquid morgite, kill a dreadnought, volatile guts. Okay, our build is not the best for swarm again. Because we don't really got a lot of splash damage there. Um, dreadnought will be fine, I think. Morkite really depends on where they put the pipes. If they put them all over the place, it's going to be rough. If they put them close to one another, it's not going to be so bad. Okay. There's already some swarmers. Yeah, because Big Birth is not really made for dealing with AoE damage as much. It's still the auto cannon, so it's still going to have decent AoE. It's just that my rate of fire is slower, so... Oh no. I'm already not liking this cave setup for Liquid Morkite. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit awkward. Alright, well, let me call in a resupply pod right over here right away. Otherwise, this is gonna be kinda rough. Let's go, you wanna mine that? Hear a roller somewhere around here too. Not entirely sure where. Let's see. Where's the dread? The dread's over there. What the heck? There's the roller. We've got company. I didn't see a single liquid morkite pipe there, where I could place a pipe. That makes me even more concerned. We got the twins again. All right, cool. 
This build likes fight the twins. That's good. Damn, we're all tired of guts. It's gonna be kind of nice. Duck down here. You duck down here as well. More of the little buggers. Oh, no matter grenades. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you guys are healing. Get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't ride the fireball this time. Yeah, let's take him out, Bosco. You got way better swarmer clear than I do. Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. They're healing. Gives me time to reload. Everything's good. Shotgun me from that close range. I mean, it's a good idea, but I don't like it when it happens. Run away, run away. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit by something, aren't I? No? Okay. You're all the way up there. You're right next to me. There we go. <laughs> See, it's kind of hard to react if you're all the way up there. All right, twins down. Very cool. Now we just need the pipeline set up and deal with all the swarmers that are inevitably going to be here. Which I think is going to be a decent amount of them. I also just have to find some of the pipelines because I haven't found anything that looks like a pipeline. Oh wait, there's one. Never mind, found one. We're all good. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get a pipeline out there, but at least we found one. This mission might take a little while. No! 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 <laughs> I got very unlucky there and yeah, panicking didn't seem to help. All right, Bosco, could you pick me up? I gotta get all the way up there. Oh no! I think I just got spit on by a Praetorian too much. That's not good. That's two downs. I didn't want to use up. No more swarmers. Get 
here. Warren finally set up. I don't know how long I've been on this particular mission, but it's been way longer than it should. I hope I have enough ammo to just survive this, because I still have to dig through an entire wall to get to, like, another section. And then I still have to find the third pipe anyway. Oh, I see the last one. It's all the way up here, too. Why? Why are they all up here? Why did this have to be on the week I was playing Gunner? <laughs> Second pipeline set up. We just gotta get the third one. I've been running after I get mauled by everything again. Alright, this is gonna suck because I gotta put pipes on top of them, but... Okay, leave me alone. I just want to do this mission and then go home. That's all I want to do. And horribly place my pipelines. I don't like putting them up on top of one another like this, because it just makes it more awkward. So where's Busco at? He's here, just not shooting. <laughs> yeah. right, I kind of need Bosco to help me with this. Uh, crap. It might be easier to go around this other direction. We might be able to swing it. And that's cutting across that pipeline now, too, which really sucks. Alright, I finally got it attached. It doesn't look good. It's curved all over the place. Oh, okay, and then everything is uh, down here. Alright, Bosco. You wanna help me some more? <laughs> I'm gonna owe Bosco so much money by the end of this. <laughs> basically been carrying me through the swarmer waves. You're the best little guy. All set up completed. Yes. Let's get this ready. Let's get this going and get this over with. I would not be surprised if we have over a thousand kills by the end of this just from this map alone. Like, the other ones, we weren't killing a whole, a whole bunch of things, but this one is taking me forever to do. Oh, fuck. And we're an hour and a half in. And, like, we might have spent maybe an hour just playing this one map. I'm sure I cut it down quite a bit, because a lot of this was just... Okay, I can't go here. I gotta try to dig. I gotta try to dig some more. Oops. The present too? It's actually the first present we've gotten. This entire mission. At least that I can recall. Interesting. Oh wait, no, there's two oppressors. Oh, alright. Get rid of the oppressor. Let's go. You wanna fix that one? I'll go over to this one. And I gotta go back and get some more. Some more HP, because I'm again. The swarmers are just chipping me out. Little bit by little bit. Okay. Bosco, you wanna fix this? I gotta go get some more ammo and some more heal. Good, yeah, just health. Health. I need more health or something than anything else. Ammo I'm actually doing. Okay, on I guess. I'm calling one more resupply, which I'm gonna need. Even if it's just for shields, even if it's just to push things off of objectives. Get the oppressor off of there. At least Bosco's not focused on it. Sometimes Bosco will just go attack the oppressors and do nothing to them. Alright. Let's just keep shooting and I'll do a little bit of damage then. Fine. Just fix that, Bosco. And I'll build this one up, and then we'll be done with this. <laughs> right. 
Another resupply. <laughs> I'm not skimping out on any of my resupplies. We're getting all the ammo, the health, the shields that we could ever use. and climb. <laughs> We're getting out of here, Bosco. We're leaving. This place is miserable. How many kills did we get? Uh, that, that has to be over a thousand. I'm betting like 1,200. I spent so long in that last stage. Deep dive three completed. That was rough. <laughs> that was probably the most rough deep dive I've had in a while. Not because it was super difficult, but just because it was so time consuming. Almost 1,500 kills, an hour and a half. All right, yeah, if I was playing Driller, we could have gotten under an hour. If I was playing Engineer, we could have gotten under an hour. If I was playing Scout, it probably would have been about the same, maybe a little bit quicker, just because I could have bounced around the cave a little bit quicker. As Gunner, though, that cave is rough. 